Volume. Chapter. Two verses. Theragatha detailed. Detailed lives and teachings of elder monks. Thera. Colon. Uttara. Adapted from the archaic translation by Mrs. Dot. Reese Davids. Dot. Uttara. Reborn in this Buddha age at Rajagaha as the son of an eminent Brahmin and named Uttara, he graduated in Brahman wisdom, and became renowned for his breeding, beauty, wisdom and virtue. Vasakara, a leading minister of Magadha, seeing his attainments, was desirous of marrying him to his daughter. But he with heart set on release declined, and he attended the teaching of the general of the path. Winning faith, he entered the monk's order and fulfilled his novice initiate, waiting upon Saraputta. Now the Thera fell ill, and Uttara set out in the morning to seek a physician. On his round he set down his bowl on the banks of a lake and went to the water to wash out his mouth. Then a certain thief, pursued by the police, escaped from the town by the chief gate, and running by, dropped his stolen jewels into the novice's bowl, and fled. Then, as the latter came back to his bowl, the king's men passed in pursuit, and seeing the bowl, said, This is the thief. He has done the burglary. And binding his arms behind, they brought him before Vasakara, the Brahman, and punished him. Then the exalted one, meditating the ripeness of his insight, went there and placing a gentle hand, like dropping of crimson gold, on Uttara's head, spoke thus. Uttara, this is the fruit of previous action. Come here to pass, it is to be accepted by you through the power of reflection, and so taught him the path according to his need. Uttara, thus ambrosially anointed by the touch of the Lord, s hand, was transported with joy and rapture, and through the ripeness of his insight and the charm of his Lord's teaching, so throw off all impurity that he attained sixfold abana. Rising clear of the stake, he stood in the air, performing a miracle out of compassion for others. To the amazement of all, his wound was healed. When asked by the bhikkhus, monk, how were you able, suffering such pain, to apply insight? He said, since I clearly saw, monks, the evil of rebirths and the nature of the conditioned, it was not the lesser evil of present pain that could hinder me from increasing insight, and achieving attainment. There is no life that lasts forever, nor permanence in things from causes come. They are reborn, the factors of our life. Thereafter they dissolve and die away. Since this the evil claiming all my thought. In truth am I one who did not seek to be. Detached from all that worldly aims commend. Of the intoxicants have I now made an end. Thera. Colon. Pindola Bharadvaja. Adapted from the archaic translation by Mrs. Dot. Rhys Davids. Dot. Pindola Bharadvaja. Reborn in this Buddha age as the son of the priest to King Adena of Kosambi, he was named Bharadvaja. Having learned the three Vedas, and teaching the hymns with great success to a school of Brahman youths, the work became distasteful. And leaving him, he went to Rajagaha seeing there the gifts and favors bestowed on the monk's order of the exalted one, he entered the same. He overcame intemperance in diet by the teacher's methods, and acquired sixfold abana. He upon that announced before the exalted one that he would answer the questions of any monks in doubt concerning path or fruit, thus uttering his, lion's roar. For that reason the exalted one said of him, The chief among my disciples who are lion roarers is Pindola Bharadvaja. Now there came to him a former friend, a Brahmin of a miserly nature. And the Thera persuaded him to make an offering, handing it over to the monk's order. And because the Brahmin believed the Thera was greedy and self-seeking, 
The latter set himself to instruct him in the privileges of religious gifts, saying, Not without rule and method must we live. But food as such is never near my heart. By nutriment the body is sustained. This do I know, and hence my quest for arms. A treacherous bog, it is. The wise know well. These bows and gifts and treats from wealthy folk. It is like steel splinter bedded in the flesh. For foolish monks hard to extricate. Thera. Colon. Valia. Adapted from the archaic translation by Mrs. Dot. Rhys Davids. Dot. Valia. Reborn in this Buddha age at Savathi as the son of an eminent Brahmin, he was named Valia. While adolescent and in the power of the senses, he formed virtuous friendships, by which he came to the exalted one, found faith and entered the monk's order, soon thereafter establishing insight and winning arahantship. Reflecting on the past with its worldly objects and desires, and on how, by the Aryan path, he now had turned from all that, he thus declared Anna. Within the little five-doored hut an ape did prowl, and round and round from door to door. He hies, rattling with blows again, again. Halt, ape, run you not forth. For you, it is not in this as it was wont to be. Reason did hold you captive. Nevermore shall roam far hence in freedom as of yore. Thera. Colon. Gangateria. Adapted from the archaic translation by Mrs. Dot. Rhys Davids. Dot. Gangateria. Reborn in this Buddha age at Savathi as a citizen's son, he was named Dutta. And when, in his domestic life, he transgressed through ignorance, then discovered his offense, anguish seized him so that he left the world. Distressed at his deeds, he adopted a course of austerity, and lived on the bank of the Ganges, making himself a tent of palm leaves. Hence he became known as Ganga Tariya, and he resolved to speak to no one. So he kept silence for a whole year. In the second year, a woman of the village where he sought arms, wishing to find out whether he was dumb, spilt milk as she filled his bowl. And he let fall the words. Enough, sister. But in the third year, after strenuous effort, he won arahantship. Upon that he declared Anna by word of mouth, expressing his past procedure in these verses. On Ganga's shore three palm tree leaves I took, and made my hut, my bowl like funeral pot by which men sprinkle milk upon a corpse. My dress cut from refuse of the dust heap. Two years, from one rain season till the next, I there abode, nor spoke a word except once. So till the third year passed then the long night, of gloom asunder burst and broke in light. Thera. Colon. Ajana. Adapted from the archaic translation by Mrs. Dot. Rhys Davids. Dot. Ajana. Reborn in this Buddha age at Savathi, in the family of a certain poor Brahmin, he was wrapped at birth in an antelope's skin, and was hence named Antelope. Growing up in poverty, he saw the Jetta Grove presented, and the power and majesty of the Buddha and gaining faith he left the world, and not long after acquired supernormal thought. When he had moreover won arahantship, he, in consequence of past deeds, remained unhonored and unknown. And some worldly novices among the bhikkhus despised him for this. Then the Thera agitated them with these verses. Even though a man have gained the triple wisdom, have overcame death and cleaned the intoxicants. Yet, let him be to fame unknown, poor fools. May in their ignorance look down on him. But let him get the good things of this world. Then though he be of evil breed, natheless, service and honor will they render him. Thera. Colon. 
Melagina. Adapted from the archaic translation by Mrs. Dot. Reese Davids. Dot. Melagina. Reborn in this Buddha age at Banaras, in a nobleman's family, and named Melagina, he became distinguished for learning and accomplishments, and renowned in all the country. When the exalted one stayed at Banaras, in Isipatana, Melagina went to hear him preach the path. And gaining faith, he entered the monk's order and won arahantship. And when the bhikkhus asked how far he had acquired supernormal qualities, he uttered a lion's roar. When I had heard the Lord preach the path, no doubts my mind could from then on entertain in him all-knowing and invincible, nor in a mighty lord like to him, lord of the caravan, driver of men, unmatched and grand, nor in the path, the rule, can ever want of faith disturb myself. Thera. Colon. Rada. Adapted from the archaic translation by Mrs. Dot. Reese Davids. Dot. Rada. Reborn in the time of our exalted one at Rajagaha, as a Brahmin, he was in his old age unable to perform his various duties. Being passed over, he went to the Lord and revealed his needs. The Lord, meditating his graduation in essential conditions, ordered Saraputta to admit him. Soon after that he won Arahantship. And thereafter, keeping near the Lord, he became preeminent among those who, deriving from the Lord, as teaching, could speak impromptu. Now one day seeing how want of self-training occasioned governance by the passions, he expressed thus. Even as into an ill-roofed house the rain did pierce and penetrate continually, so into mind by exercise untrained did passion ever pierce and penetrate and as into a well-roofed house no rain, did pierce and penetrate continually. So into mind by calm and insight trained, did passion never pierce and penetrate. Thera. Colon. Sarada. Adapted from the archaic translation by Mrs. Dot. Reese Davids. Dot. Sarada. Reborn in this Buddha age as the younger brother of the aforesaid Radha, he followed his elder brother's example, and became an Arahant also. To show the saving guidance of the rule, he declared Anna thus. All coming back to birth is now destroyed. The conqueror's rule has guided all my ways. That which we call the net have I put off. The lust that leads to life is rooted out and the great quest, for which I left the world, forsaking home a homeless life to lead. Even that quest and high reward I have won, for I am he whose bonds are riven in two. Thera. Colon. Gotama. Adapted from the archaic translation by Mrs. Dot. Reese Davids. Dot. Gotama. Reborn in this Buddha age at Rajagaha, in a Brahmin family, and named Gotama, he fell, when still a youth, into bad company, and gave all that he had to a prostitute. Repenting thereafter of his vicious ways, he saw a vision of the Lord seated, of him who had discerned the progress of his mind and his attainment of the conditions. He with heart assured went to the Lord, was taught, and believed. Entering the monk's order, he won arahantship, even as the razor touched his hair. And while he was pondering the bliss of jhana and of fruition, a lay companion asked him concerning his property. He confessed how he had lived unchastely, and declaring Anna by his present purity from passion, said, At ease they sleep, the wise and pure, who never are bound to womankind, for these must yes be kept beneath watch and ward, and among them. It is ever hard to learn the truth of things. War to the knife with you, O lust, we've waged. Now are we quit and free of debt to you. 
Now move about we onward to that going out, where at our journey's end we weep no more. Thera. Colon. Vasaba. Adapted from the archaic translation by Mrs. Dot. Rhys Davids. Dot. Vasaba. Reborn in this Buddha age at Vasali, as the son of a Lichavi Raja, he was won over by the majesty of the Buddha when the latter went to Vasali, and left the world. In due course he won Arahantship, and thereafter, gracious to his patrons, he did not reject the necessaries they provided, but enjoyed what he received. The common-minded deemed him self-indulgent, but he continued taking no account of them. But near him lived a fraudulent bhikkhu, who deceived the people by pretending to lead the simple life, content with little, and was honored by them. Then Saka, ruler of the Devas, discerned this, and came to Vasaba Thera and asked, Your reverence, what is it that an impostor does? The Thera, in rebuke to that evil doer, replied, He sure did work destruction to himself. Thereafter did he ruin other men. Most truly works he mischief to himself, even as decoy bird by its own deceit. No Brahman he, by outward color judged. By inner hue shall you the Brahman know. He in whom deeds show evil, even he, is swarth of face, O consort of Suja. Thera. Colon. Kunda. Elder. Adapted from the archaic translation by Mrs. Dot. Rhys Davids. Dot. Kunda the Great. Reborn in this Buddha age in the kingdom of Magadha. At Nalaka village, as the son of the Brahmani Rupasari, and younger brother of Saraputta, he followed the latter into the monk's order, and after arduous, strenuous effort won arahantship. And glorifying his attainment and in solitude of life, he uttered this saying. The will to learn leads to growth of learning. Learning makes insight grow, and by insight we know the good. Known good brings bliss along. Seek you the lonely places remote from men. Practice the life of liberty from bonds. If there you come not by your heart's desire, live with the monks, mindful and controlled. Thera. Colon. Jotadasa. Adapted from the archaic translation by Mrs. Dot. Rhys Davids. Dot. Jotadasa. Reborn in this Buddha age as the son of a wealthy Brahmin, in the Padiyata country, he was named Jotadasa. When come of age he saw Kasapa the Great one day going his round for arms, and entertained him in his house, and heard him discourse. On the hill near the village he himself had a great Vihara built for the Thera, and supplied him with the four requisites. Moved thereafter by the Thera's teaching he left the world, and not long after won the sixfold Abhana. After ten years, during which he learned the three Pitakas, with special proficiency in the Vinaya Pitaka, and waited on the fraternity, he set out with many bhikkhus to salute the exalted one at Savathi. On the way he entered a theologian's park, and seeing a Brahman practicing the fivefold austerity, he asked, Why, Brahman, do you not burn otherwise in a different heat? The Brahman annoyed, answered, Master, shaven-headed monk, what other heat is there? The Thera replied, Anger, and envy, and all cruel deeds. And pride, and arrogance, and wanton strife. Craving, and ignorance, and lust of life. These burn away and let your body be. And after that taught him the path. And all those theologians pleaded him for initiation into monkhood. On leaving Savathi he went to his former home, and addressed his relatives in these verses. Thera. Colon. Heranakani. Adapted from the archaic translation by Mrs. Dot. Rhys Davids. Dot. Heranakani. 
reborn in this Buddha age as the son of one who was a tenant in chief of the king of Kosala, and in command of bandits, he succeeded to his father's position at the latter's death. Achieved Sotapanna on seeing the Buddha accept the Jetta Grove, he put his younger brother in his place, left the world, and soon after won Arahantship. He upon that sought to turn his brother to a better life, and on seeing him attached to it, urged him in these verses. The days, the nights move by and pass away. Life is arrested, and the span to mortals given is consumed and fails, like water in the shallow mountain streams. But evil actions still the fool commits, nor understands how dreadful the aftermath, till comes the bitter hour of action's fruit. Hearing the Thera's discourse, the brother asked for the king's leave, and left the world, and not long after found salvation. Thera. Colon. Somumata. Adapted from the archaic translation by Mrs. Dot. Rhys Davids. Dot. Somumata. Reborn in this Buddha age at Banaras, in a Brahmin's family and named Somumata. He became an expert in the three Vedas, but achieved Sotapanna by the Thera Vamala and took monks' orders. He lived near the Thera, fulfilling his duties. But the latter was given to sloth and torpor, and